Hey, it's TQ here from the Q Brothers. What Got up? JQ behind the camera. <coughs> um, so, uh, I have a pretty big beard. It's getting pretty insane, and in fact, a little too insane for me. Turn that um, so we can see the whole beard. No, flip the mirror down a little. Oh, yeah. So, Bam. It's getting a little too insane. And, you know, I, I got some comments and some people writing to me saying, uh, back when I first started growing it and started getting sizable, saying, uh, if I decide to trim it, would I please video that? Cool. And I just thought, you know, there's been a number of times where I'm going to the barber and just thought I should have him trim it down. But then I waited because I thought, I'm a little nervous about trimming my beard, honestly. And I, I've done a little bit of trimming, but I've let it grow now enough that I'm going to do a more substantial trimming. And maybe I'm going to mess up. But I thought that's a more honest way to do this video than to like practice it a hundred times and then act like it's really easy because I don't think that's the case. And I think a lot of guys have asked to see it done because they're in a similar situation where they don't, if you want a more natural looking beard and you don't want to use an electric trimmer, it's a little nerve wracking to think about taking the scissors to your own face. That said, the nice thing about beard hair it's is that slow. it's kind of, you're going to go slow, but it's also kind of, um, it's curvy, wavy, and the shape means a lot more than having everything equal. If you have pretty straight hair like me, like I want my barber to do it because when he's going to fade this or do whatever, I'm going to the barber tomorrow. It's got to be exact. Yeah. It's, I want it to be exact. But on a beard, I'm able to like, it doesn't matter if this one's a little longer than this one because the overall shape is what I'm going for. Okay? So uh, with that said, I'm going to start. And my intention is to try and like, let me look in the mirror so I can see what I'm saying. My intention is to take this stuff down to get rid of a lot of this curls and this flyaway to still leave a decent amount of body and shape down here, but to essentially take it, make, in. take it in and to take it down so that it starts curving down here. That's my goal. Cool. Let's try right. it. Let's see so what's going on. I'm using right now, I haven't used the scissors before, but I really like it. I've been eyeing it for a while, but this is the Seiki Edge uh, mustache trimming scissors. But I felt more comfortable using this. It's still got a decent size. It's not like a mini blade. But I thought if I start to use a hair trimming shears, that's a bit bigger than I'm used to being able to and handle. You want to be able to I want to be able to curve go. and go. So essentially, I'm going to dive in a little bit and say that like, so when I've done in the past, what I do is I tend to pull it away from the hair and go slow and sort of start to take off the stuff that I know that I don't want, you know, and get a little bit of a shape to it. And then you can see, like, because it's wavy, yeah. you can kind of see how it's going to yeah, curl up. Yeah, exactly. You know? And I, that's the thing is I'm looking at shape because I know I've oiled my beard, i brushed it in the morning. So, like, it's, you know, it's not fresh anymore, but it's actually how it's going to wear for most of the day. And I think that that's the important thing is that you want it to look natural. And I'll say right now um, that I don't want, uh, I'm not going to really touch the mustache I'm gonna kind of leave a natural mustache and I might come back tomorrow, maybe I'll even video that. I might come back in a day or two and do that, but I kind of want to see how this goes. So you can see already, look at compared to this, it's already looking a lot more streamlined in a way that's making me really happy and feel start to feel a little normal again. But I'm gonna keep pulling this away to see like, you can see, oh there, I missed a bunch of long ones. And I'm gonna just keep going slow, looking for where do I want to trim it. And tomorrow I'll probably have my barber Oh, I just went a little close. The great thing about the scissors, I should say, the Seiki Edge, is that it has like micro serrations. So it actually, you know, sometimes even when you have a really sharp one, it sort of feels slippery on the hair. This one just feels like it, as soon as it touches the hair, it grabs it and starts making it, uh, it's just cutting right through. And uh, it's cutting really easily and I like it a lot. I have to say, uh, already I would say that this is probably my favorite mustache scissors that I've tried. I, I use their uh, toenail clippers <laughs> yeah, and several products from them. Their tweezers are amazing. So I'm going to kind of, I kind of want to have like a nice line coming down here as my goal. And I'm going to clean up the ends of this as well. Just, you can see my beard happens to grow with an outward curve at the bottom, which is, I don't dislike, but I'd like to maybe clean it up and make it a little trimmer. How's it looking, Jay? It's good. It's good. It's good. There you go. Yeah. That's more. It's that under stuff too. I mean, that stuff yeah. is crazy. That's the jungle down there. 
Welcome to the jungle. All right, so we're, we're the, we need we can't really see, so you gotta sit up a little bit or move uh, that back right, a little. That That's good, yeah. That's even lets me see a little better. Is that still okay? Mm-hmm. That's great. If you just keep your head up a touch, so then you're good. Yeah, that's perfect. If you can still see. Yep. All right, that's starting to get a little more of what I like. Uh, and again, I'm gonna come back and finish it, but I'm gonna try and keep moving. Ah, uh, that feels. <sighs> it looks really I'm, good on that side. Do it on this side because we have more light on this side, so we kind of want to get yeah, a, a good up. sense of it. So I'm going to keep checking what is my length about over here and kind of try and get a similar length over there. I'm going to keep pulling this away to see, you know, sort of fluff it out and see where does this... And again, the great thing as I mentioned is that I'm not being super exact because it's beard hair and... It seems like doing that side is a little more awkward. Yeah, for me it's easier to reach across here. I have to with my right hand. If you switch scissors hands, would it help or not? I, I don't really feel great about using left just, hand Just scissors. try it for one, just sure. to see. Oh, uh, maybe. It just might give you that similar angle that you had on the other side. Let's see. Yeah, that's all gone. No, it feels better for me. Okay, cool. I was just curious. I mean, I figured this, if this is your first time, we should try it. Uh, it's just finding, I can't see it as well. That's the other thing. How's it going? All right. So sorry I'm not talking very much, but this is actually where it's harder for me to somehow I'm having a harder time seeing on this side. Maybe I'm going to do that so I can see it a little better. That feels better. And also now, before I'm just making the shape, now I'm trying to match a shape I already made, which definitely is a little harder, you know? Uh-huh. And this is where it's great to have a brother to tell you how it's looking on one side compared to the other. If only. <laughs> what? If only you had that. Yeah, exactly. Where will I find one of those? This I can take off. I think you can take that, yeah. I would not worry about that at all. So let's see, that side, okay. It's looking, okay. looking kind of how I want it. It is. I looking, can't really see it. Like that picture you showed me. So I think... Yeah, that is. That's looking right. Let's see this side. This side's not far enough yet. Yeah, so you need to get in there and then a little bit under here. That should do it. Part of it is like the angle of your scissors when you're cutting from that direction. Yeah. Is yeah, kind of out. Come up like this. Yeah, yeah, I think that's going to be better. Yeah. Because you were facing towards the beard on that side, and this one you're like kind of. But if you flip flop, yeah, that's. It's good. already looking hella different, I think. Yeah. Huh? I'm going to just. And then you know what you notice is there are like little ones, you know, these side ones, like, oh, I didn't get that. So just come back and clean, and I won't make watch all of that but but I think that we're starting to go let's see still this is a little, a little that shape. wave's a little big yeah the fun thing about this is it's pretty cool to see to be able to see yourself kind of transform in, in a mirror while you're doing it, you know, I really like this. And so, right, um, on this side, the the sort of bulk right yeah. in the middle is a bit bigger than you, you've already trimmed that one down. Yeah. There you go, yeah, now it's starting to thin and look similar on that side. God, that's a lot of hair for a face. Yeah, no doubt, look at that. Um, yeah, that's, this is, you know, and again, it's personal preference. I, I love looking at the pictures of these guys who do crazy, 
beards and freestyle things, but for me it was starting to feel like out of control and I think I was looking for some, I was just kind of waiting to find the, my inspiration for how I wanted it to look and kind of looking through styles of beards and kind of figuring out what was going to feel best for me. You know, I have a comb here too and I should have brought my brush but I left it downstairs. I think this will suit you just fine actually. But you can kind of see how it's... I mean again after this you're gonna have to oil it back up and yeah. sort of see what it looks like. Yeah. I think the underneath stuff is gonna be. It's gonna. F it should f like feel a lot lighter, you know. It's starting to. It's definitely starting to. You know, the scissors is so sharp. It keeps catching my fingers and my. The point of it keeps catching my fingers and my shirt and everything. There you go. It seems to me like you could get a little, a little bit into this guy and this guy, just a touch. Yeah, I think that's gonna give you that curve that you're looking for around your chin. Yeah. Here. There you go. That's starting to look great. Yeah, I agree. That's exactly what I want. Thanks for the help, bro. Yeah. There you go. Should we start it again? I'll just I did. finish it up. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm just finishing up, but uh, I can I think, you know, if we contrast, compare and contrast the beginning of my adventure today and the end, this is starting to look like a, a natural but more trim beard and a little bit more of the finished look that I want where I don't uh, feel quite as mu much like a Einstein on my face sort of approach that I had before, right? <laughs> anyway. Einstein on my face. <clears throat> Thanks for joining me today. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, you know. Well, so you give a thumbs up to those scissors? The scissors? I, I if love. anything, the only disadvantage is that they're super sharp for your face, huh? Uh, I mean, yeah, if you're Cutting away from the face, obviously if you're doing nose or ear or anything close uh, other than mustache trimming and beard, I'd want a round tip scissors and I love my round tip scissors. I think it's a must have for every guy. Um, but I think if you're doing stuff where you're not really worried about cutting yourself, I was just saying this is such a sharp point that I keep on looking at. It's like even just touching it, Catches. it's grabbing onto my finger. But I love these scissors. They cut so easily. They're beautiful. So nice Japanese uh, safety scissors. and. A much nice, a much more nicely trimmed beard. Uh, I'm happy. See you next time. Thanks a lot. Sweet. What? <laughs>